Hey yo, hey now, what up everybody? My name is Jimmer Nam and I am the king of all social media. Oh my hey boner and tickle my tits. Today, is it true that alpha males get it all? Alpha males are the only way to go to get women and girls? I don't think so. In my opinion, I think beta males are much more attractive. I'm going to tell you why from my own experience. And here we go. What's up, everybody? Hey, now. We're going to look into this thing called alpha versus beta males. Now, we've all been told that you got to be an alpha male to get chicks. You got to be an alpha male to be this attractive man in society. Well, I'm here to tell you it's all bullshit. It really is. And I'm going to explain why. We're going to look into the textbook Wikipedia sort of definition of it. We're going to go through this, I don't know, this article that says 12 signs you're dating in a beta male. Well, you ready? You want to learn some shit? You want to know the truth? Then nothing but the truth. All right, here we go. As I do it, I'm just going to be real. Let's get into this. Cut the fucking music. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Scott! No one knows what I'm talking about, especially our Stern Show fans. Beta males. Here's the slang. Beta male, right? We've all heard it. You got to be an alpha male to get chicks, right? At bars, wherever the fuck you go to pick up women. Yep, you got to be that alpha male. You know, that confident motherfucker in that room, right? Has nothing to do with looks. No. <laughs> but uh, you got to be an alpha male. But what is a beta male? Beta male, or simply beta, all right, is a term for men perceived as weak and emasculated, all right? So we're weak men. That's what we are if we're beta. I'm huh, beta. Yeah, proud of it. The term has been frequently used in the manosphere, whatever the fuck that is, Beta frequently applies to men who are associated with feminism. Hmm. Let me see here. <sighs> Nowadays, it seems like girls are kind of gearing towards dudes who are for feminist movements. But okay, enough said. Or men who are not assertive. We've been all told as dudes... That we need to be assertive. We need to be confident. We need to be this, this man, right? We need to be the man. That's what we need to be. Well, all right. Well, let's see. Let's check this out, um, particularly with women. So uh, what else is in here, my friends? Um, ba -ba 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 beta males, losers, or cucks. Alt-right slang for cuckolds. I don't really know what a cuckold is, but we're going to look into that definition. I think it's people who like to watch people have sex, you know, and don't like to participate because we're so weak, you know. Us beta males are so goddamn weak. Um, basically, basically, instead of beta, to call it sensitivity, emotional intelligence, and peacemaking. Let me go ahead and click on cuck cuckolds. See what the fuck that means real quick. A cuckold is the husband of an adulterous wife. In evolutionary biology, the term is also applied to males who are unwittingly investing parental uh, effort in offspring that are not genetically their own. Well, oh, uh, really? So I guess a cuckold is a guy who is man enough to step up to the plate to take care of another child who doesn't belong to him. Hmm. If anything, that screams like a real man to me. So count me in as a beta male because my father was the same. My father, um, my older brother, who's five years older than I am, uh, my mom was married previously to meeting my father and she was pregnant with my brother, again, who's five years older than I am. Unfortunately, they, got through, they went through a divorce. My mom was still pregnant. And during that pregnancy, my well, while she was pregnant with my brother, uh, she met my dad. And my dad, maybe he's a beta male. I don't know. <laughs> uh, actually, he's he's. I think he's an alpha. But he just said, you know what? We're gonna get married. Let's go to Las Vegas. Let's get eloped after the first date. And basically, 
uh, what happened was my dad adopted um, my brother right away. Uh, I mean, he signed off as his father and took care of my brother um, throughout his entire pretty much uh, adolescent life, paid for his first car when he was 16, paid for his entire college education. And my dad is actually a beta male, by the way. And uh, it takes a real man to step up to the plate. So count me in if uh, they're calling that beta. All right. So bye bye, Wikipedia. We got the definition down. And now I'm going to share the 12 signs. Okay, women, you are dating a beta male because, oh my God, you don't want to be near a beta male, right? Because all of us beta males, you just don't want to be near because we don't have the confidence and we do, we're not attractive enough because um, whatever reason. But let's, let's check out the signs, the 12 signs that these uh, shitheads wrote about here and why that's a good thing. Okay, well, let's check it out. Number one, he sincerely wants to spend time with you. Hmm. So unlike an alpha guy or an alpha male whom you only really hear from from time to time, you know, the don't text too much, don't call too much, don't be too concerned and too involved, right? Well, I think that's all bullshit. Yeah, it could work, but it's a game, right? And you know what the thing is why beta males are more attractive and can be more attractive is we could play both sides of that game. I've played, I'm beta male at heart, but I could play that confident fucking prick anytime I want. I could turn the switch off or, or turn it on or turn it off. Either way, um, a, a true alpha male can't do that shit. See, they don't have the heart to be sincere. Then it comes off fake. It's not genuine, you know? Because once you fall in love, then the roles switch, right? The girls want to um, spend more time with you. They want that quality time. And if you're an alpha male, you're a dickhead. You just ignore your girl. I mean, that's just naturally you. How attractive is that to a woman? Usually they leave you. And you're the alpha, right? Kind of a catch-22, I'd say. So all I'm saying is, Maybe we should embrace our beta male, our inner inner beta male, as I put it. So he, he sincerely, that's a sign. That's a bad sign to these people. It's, he sincerely, genuinely wants to spend some time with you, some goddamn quality time. I don't know, girls. Is that what you not want? <laughs> All right. He remembers your birthday. Oh, that's bad. You know, of course you want a male, an alpha male that never remembers your birthday. Doesn't give a shit about the anniversary day. That's attractive. That's confidence, right? Oh, okay. I get it. Never remembers anniversaries. Never, never remembers your mommy's birthday or your kids. Let's say you have kids. He doesn't even give a shit about their favorite ice cream flavor. You know, uh, things like that. So. Watch out for those type of beta males. Oh, boy. So far, I disagree with this fucking list. I think it's stupid. Number three, sex isn't the main objective. Hmm. Well, for me, I think. No, I'm kidding. Look, if you want an alpha male and you just want to get spread your legs and get fucked sometimes here and there, then okay, cool. You know, but you want someone who really wants to get to know you maybe genuinely in a very sincere way. I don't know. Maybe you should be looking over at something else, a beta male. Maybe society tells us way too much, too often that men have to be alpha males. Every fucking dating coach you talk to, every fucking, um, those dating games that you have to play, fuck that, people, all right? I'm telling you from experience, throw that shit right out the window. Not only am I a beta male, I'm a fucking extreme introvert at the same time, all right? So those are like a double whammy to society. But let me tell you something. When I need to turn it on, I'll turn that shit on. You want to see, see some confidence? You'll see it. But you're going to get this fucking genuine, sincere dude. Solid, loyal, everything. And wants to spend quality time, everything. So let's move on. <laughs> so sex isn't the main objective. Gotcha. He's attentive in bed. Hmm. So maybe, maybe um, girls just want guys who are just don't give a fuck what you want. You know what, honey? Just flip over, shut the fuck up, and let me fuck you. And I don't care if you orgasm. I'm going to orgasm. 
buy, you know, if you want that, then okay, then get yourself an alpha male, you know. The reason why I'm saying there's beta males are much more attractive than alpha males is because beta males, we can learn alpha male characteristics and traits, but keep our core as a beta male, if that makes any sense. Because if you embrace that you're a beta male, right? You're this guy who's genuine, as society calls us, weak if they want. Oh, we're weak, we're pussies. Okay, well, you know what? If we embrace that goodness and kindness in our heart, but then we could turn on that switch of confidence. We could, these are traits that you can actually learn and, and also um, incorporate into whether you're dating or in your relationships. Um, those things uh, can... Cl I've done it. I've used it, you know. I've used um, how to be confident, how to do these certain things. There's techniques that you can use to play the dating games. I choose not to. I've done it before. Yes, you could get success out of it. I'm not trying to belittle any dating coach out there, but honestly, they're throwing you a bunch of horseshit, and it's, it's a bunch of bull crap, okay? Number one, it's a numbers game, okay? And then number two... It's really going to boil down to whether you guys sort of connect. So you guys have to have interest. You can't just fake it till you make it. You know, you can't just present yourself as some alpha male and then your, your, your core is a beta male. You know, it just doesn't work that way. So you have to use your inner beta male. Okay. Those good characteristics of being a beta male and then learn how to sort of grab some of the the good characteristics, I guess, that women find attractive, you could always grab that, you know, and keep it in your tool bag and bring it out whenever you need to. But I'll get into that maybe in an, another video, but I just wanted to make that very, very clear. So he's attentive in bed. Um, number five, communication is important to him. Now, what do females like eventually? in friends, in their best friends, and their family members, and more importantly, their significant others. Communication. Once you start ignoring a girl, then you start losing that girl or losing friendships when you stop communication. So with alpha males, and I'm not saying all alpha males are like this, but the typical social alpha male, the, what society deems as what us men should be, us beta weak ass men should be, these pussies that we are, these cuckolds, well, what they put pressure on is to be that alpha male that just doesn't give a shit, that we don't communicate. We only communicate when we have time, basically. And let me tell you something. Every fucking person out there, I don't care who you are, you have time. You could be the president of the fucking United States of America. You've got time. Everybody has way too much time on their hands. And that's the truth. You can pretend like you're busy all the time with work and all this other bullshit and kids and all this shit. Oh, no, no, no. We've got a lot of time in the fucking world. We have too much time, to be honest with you. But we like to complain that we don't have enough time. The weekends go by so fast. Honestly, no, we've got a ton of time. All right. So communication is key. It's important, especially in building relationships. Now, if you, if you just want to get a quick fuck maybe at a club with a girl who's drunk, it doesn't fucking matter. Then act like an alpha male and go do that. You know, it's a game, right? How long is that going to last? Maybe two months, if that, four months, six months, if you're lucky. Uh, but if you want to have a really solid relationship that works out, um, embrace that beta male, baby, because communication is key. Trust me. Later on, the girl's going to switch over. She, she may think that she's attracted to an actual alpha male at the time. But later on, girls really value, women value, and so do men, okay? Value communication. It is so important, especially when you're trying to build a relationship. A solid foundation of communication is key. There we go. Number six, he's creative. That's another sign that you're with a beta male. What's wrong with being creative? I think creativity is super attractive, all right? I think it's unique. I think it, it puts you in a different field than any other alpha male out there that's doing the same fucking shit about, oh, you know, I'm going to play it cool. I'm going to text, 
maybe on the third day after talking to her. I'm going to call her maybe once a week. Oh, I'm going to set up a date. I'm going to spread it out. You know, fuck that shit. I don't got time for shit, bro. All right. There's a lot of time in the day, but I don't got time to play any fucking games. Hell no. So embrace your goddamn beta, inner beta male. All right. So be creative. Yeah. Fuck yeah. The most attractive people are creative in the history of this world. All those who are creative and unique set themselves apart from every other schmuck out there. All right. So be that creative beta male, bitches. Just kidding. Number seven, he's okay staying at home instead of going out. Hey, bingo, bango. That explains who I am. I love, let me get some coffee here if you don't mind. As I said before, I'm an introvert. I am a fucking introvert, man. Extreme. I don't think anybody could top me. I'm a hermit too. I don't go out if I have to go out. But I've been out. I've been able to switch on that light of alpha male anytime I fucking want. I can. I could go out there and be confident. I'll talk, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Before, maybe I wasn't able to do that. But I learned those tools, okay? I, I, I could do it with what I'm comfortable with and I could turn that switch on and off. Most of the time that shit is off because I don't need it on all the time. I really don't because I don't give a fuck, you know, but here's the thing. Number seven, he's okay staying at home instead of going out. What's the big deal? Okay. So if you're beta male, I guess if you're a weak ass, all of a sudden you're a pussy, you're staying home. Who cares? If you like staying home, go find a girl who likes to stay home with you. There's plenty of them out there, you know? If you like going out and hiking and you're still a beta male, you like going out, looking at things, traveling, there are beta males out there that are like that. Go find a girl that likes that shit too. I don't see any problem with this shit. But all of a sudden, these are signs that you're with a beta male. So you got to get the fuck out, right? That's what they're telling you in this article. Um, uh, domesticity isn't balked at. Now, I don't know what the fuck that means because I'm pretty stupid. This isn't a guy who will make excuses for why he can't do his share of housework or complain loudly when a household issue needs to be tended to. When something needs to be done, he'll do it. Hey, that's like the perfect guy, girls. <laughs> Somebody who's domestic, right? The domestic husband, the domestic boyfriend right i mean how great is that this guy cooks for you this guy cleans i mean shit sign me up i want a beta male i'm not gay or anything but i want me some beta male if they're gonna be doing my dishes if they're gonna be doing my laundry if they're gonna be cleaning up and fucking uh feeding me and shit sign me up where do i get myself a beta male I'm not cleaning up after no fucking alpha male that probably his underwear fucking smells, has shit streaks all over that shit. You know, no, thank you. Get the fuck out. It's like a roommate that you just want to kick the fuck out of your fucking apartment. You know, you know those roommates. I'm sure you do. They're, they're a bunch of dickheads. All right. Number nine, you can count on him. Oh, girls hate that. Don't, girls, don't you hate when you, when you count on guys? Don't you hate it? Don't you hate when those beta males, I mean, they're so reliable, you know? They're so loyal. They're so trustworthy. Uh, you got to hate it. Don't you need an alpha male that will just fuck you over, you know? Never tell you anything, you know? Just give you the hand when they walk in. Shut the fuck up. I'm going upstairs. Leave me alone. I had a bad, no, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Unless you want that. What's what's for dinner? Just shut the... I just, I just want to eat. And I'll fuck you, maybe. <laughs> All right. You can count on him, though. You can count on beta males. Number 10. He appreciates the small things you do for him. Now, who wouldn't want that as a human being? Now, I'm not trying to separate males and females here. Who wouldn't want this as a human being? To feel like um, whatever, whatever thing you do, maybe you made some coffee like this, right? In the morning and you said, hey, honey, got you some coffee right here. Got it ready just how you like it. And he's like, wow, you're the greatest. You're the fucking greatest, honey. Shit. 
I appreciate that. I'm so grateful for you. Who wouldn't want to hear that shit? Or would you like, you know, an alpha male that goes, ah, fuck this. It's too cold. Fuck. No, nah, fuck, man. <laughs> Reheat that shit, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, don't you want someone who really appreciates what you do, who notices just the little things that you do? Maybe just a touch of hands. Says, you know, I appreciate, honey, just you acknowledging me with just that touch. I am so thankful for you. I am appreciative of everything you are and do. I mean, I honestly would love that. But I'm a beta male, so what do I know, right? And I'm just talking human beings here. We all want to be appreciated. We all want the acknowledgement all the time. There is no... There's nothing more that humans want more than to be acknowledged. Number 11, commitment isn't a terrifying concept for him. Because you know all the girls, right? They love being with their alpha males for like two years, five years, eight years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and no fucking commitment whatsoever. Because that's the most attractive thing ever, right? Where the girl finally realizes she's a little bit too old now. And now she's just got to go, you know what? Fuck this. It's not working out. How many times do we hear that in society where, you know, things just don't work out anymore. The girl's been waiting all along or waiting for a while to be, to get engaged or married at some point. And uh, it just never happens because this shithead is such alpha. He's so alpha that he just doesn't give a shit. That, that is not his priority, you know? That, he just doesn't really care too much about a commitment. And it's almost like if he does eventually, you know, propose to you or something, it's more out of pity, you know. It's like, eh, empathetic, you know. Just, eh, I guess. You deserve it. You stuck around for 15, 20 years with me. Eh, I guess we could go um, get married now. That's really romantic, isn't it? What a love story. All the women love that. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. So commitment, I mean, what is wrong with commitment? Me, I'm a committed type of dude, all right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm extreme introvert and I'm a beta male to the max. I'm super beta, super beta nam, all right? Um, because I love commitment. I think I don't want to be with someone and just string them along and them string me along. I mean, what's the purpose of that? Might as well just be separate and not even be together, right? So what, why wouldn't you want to be committed to somebody that you're interested in or you want to really get to know and spend time with and make it something? And to me, there's no issue with that. But maybe to society, oh, no, you can't do that. Don't, you know, if you want to be an alpha male, okay, if you want to be alpha, no C word, okay, no commitment, cunt, no C word, the cunt lips, right? Yeah, I'm, t I'm telling you, like, commitment, isn't that what everybody wants from somebody at one point or time? And if you don't want it, maybe there's other issues that you need to deal with. It has nothing to do with whether a guy is alpha male or beta male, all right? That's all I have to say about that. Commitment. And the last, I guess, sign that you're with a beta male is when he does kind things for others. It's not merely for attention. Because who would want to be with a, a fucking weak ass pussy cuckold beta male that actually cares about other people? You know, maybe we see a homeless person on the street and we give them some money or, you know, take them out and feed them or do something like that. Or we see an animal uh, that's, you know, homeless or whatnot. And, needs to be sheltered we take that animal in i don't know maybe that's not attractive you know maybe women do just just don't like that don't don't want that no we want alpha males who don't give a shit you know if there's a a person that's homeless we just want a male to just walk the fuck down with confidence ignoring that person over there that's really hungry and or that cat or that dog that's suffering in the rain and it has no shelter. We want an alpha male. Just is focused and, and confident. Walking. 
ignoring everything else. Get the fuck out of here. I'm coming through. I'm alpha, you know. But us beta males, oh boy, we got to stop. We got to stop because we're, maybe we're, we're a little too kind, you know. We just, we care a little too much, right? Maybe we need more beta males. Maybe, why, maybe that's why this world is so fucked up because we have too many alpha males because society has taught us that alpha male is the way to be. And maybe we should embrace our inner beta male. And of course, there are characteristics like confidence. It doesn't mean that beta males can't be confident. We can be confident. It's inside of us. But when we accept the fact that, yeah, okay, you know what? Maybe society deems me as a weak, punk-ass bitch cuckold. But I don't give a fuck. I'm proud of it. I'm proud to be kind to other things and other people. I'm not afraid of commitment. I accept that I can appreciate the small things that women do for me or other men do for me or other human beings do for me i appreciate it i acknowledge that shit no matter how small it is i'm someone that you could count on as a friend as someone that will be there for you till the end as someone that will not fuck you over or be disloyal or hide truth I'm a man that um, wants to help out in situations of being a domestic husband or boyfriend or whatever, significant other. You know, I want to help out around the house. Why? Because I see, I see you. I see you, lady or female or, or male. I see you doing the dishes all the time and the laundry and cleaning all the time and always cleaning up after me because I'm an alpha male. I don't give a shit. Beta males, oh boy, we, what's wrong with being domesticated? It's all good. We could evolve into that. I'm fine with it. I, I enjoy, I enjoy chipping in, let's just say, you know, chipping in, doing some chores, doing this and that, making life a little bit easier for both. How about that? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, right? Uh, let's move on here. Staying at home instead of going out all the time. Oh, you know, going clubbing. Hey, you know what, honey? I'm going to have boys night out every fucking other day. You know what? You're just going to accept that shit because I'm alpha, motherfucker. I'm going to go to a strip bar with my boys on weekends, and you are going to love it, all right? Because I'm confident. I'm going to be with these chicks over here, get some lap dances in and all this shit. But you sit, you stay home. <laughs> Uh, and of course, being creative, maybe innovative. The great minds, the great, greatest people in the world that are remembered, maybe like Stephen Hawking that just recently passed away, or people that have contributed a tremendous amount to our universe. They've all been creative. Men and women have been always. Like those who we remember have been unique. And to be unique, you need to use creativity. And creativity is bred from people, maybe like myself, or maybe who, guys who are beta, beta males, maybe beta females, that we like to maybe stay home and think to ourselves and sort of allow our creativity to work and generate instead of being caught up in this societal pressure of always being alpha and trying to act like someone we're not because let me tell you something beta males don't try to be something you're not especially when you're pressured to do so now if you're not unhappy being a beta male then fine go out go listen to those Shitty ass horse shit uh, dating coaches out there that just want you to pay them the monies, right? Because they want you to go to every seminar that they do. Oh, if you miss a seminar, you're never going to be alpha. Oh, if you don't read the book, if you don't read the dating book that I, I wrote, you're, you're never going to understand it. 
you need to buy the book and you need to read that. Fuck you. No, I ain't buying your book. Get, get that shit out of here. All right? I ain't going to no goddamn seminar. I don't need to. The teacher is you. It's inside of you. All you have to do is accept who you are. That's the most confident thing anybody can do. That's the most courageous, brave thing anyone can do is just say, you know what? This is who I am and that's it. And I'm going to I'm going to build upon the inside of me and not worry about what other some shithead out there tells me what to do. I do what I do. I accept me for who I am. Communication, right? Going backwards because it's like I said, it's key significant in building relationships. I don't care what relationship you're in. You know, you could be building friendships, repairing a family distress. You know, maybe, maybe you're not getting along with your mom and dad or your, your siblings and you've had disagreements, arguments, whatever. Um, but communication is so important to build a foundation and something that would move you forward instead of backwards perfect example is politics each party is different they have different ideologies uh, they have different ways of approaching social issues and, and um, economic issues now if they never communicated right which most of the time they don't i'm talking about democrats republicans liberals i don't care i really don't give a fuck about politics i'm just giving this as an example that if they never communicated we'd we would never get anything done in America. Nothing. And you know what? We're kind of headed that way because we have way too many alpha motherfuckers out there because society says you have to be alpha. You got to be alpha or you're going to be, you're not going to have success. You're not going to uh, be attractive. You're not, no one's going to want you. You beta piece of shit, weak ass motherfucker, pussy and all that, right? Well, maybe, maybe in this world, we need some more beta going on. You know, enough of the alpha. Get the fuck away. Step out. We're coming through. Confident beta males coming right through, baby. Attentive in bed. <laughs> can, you, can you even complain about that? Don't you want in bed, in the sack? Don't you want something good to happen to you? Something that you actually enjoy instead of being treated like a piece of meat? <laughs> Sex isn't the main ob objective. And you know what? If you ask girls who have been in long-term relationships... They usually tend to tell you that, you know what? I want more than just sex. I want more than just a physical relationship or a physical sort of encounter with my significant other. I'd rather have this shithead that I'm with not ignore me, to actually listen to me, actually spend time with me, actually invest, um, invest in us, invest in what we're trying to build together. So sex isn't everything, right? He remembers your birthday. Oh, that's a terrible thing. <laughs> remembers your anniversary. Oh, what a cuckold. Cuckold? Remembers your mom's birthday. How great is it if, if you had a boyfriend or a husband that said, you know, honey, tomorrow, it's your mom's birthday. You know that, right? Oh, really? How did you know? Well, my iPhone went off, actually. <laughs> I haven't put it in here. Okay, whatever. Anyhow, at least you had the, the, the decency, right, to remember. Because maybe you're kind-hearted. Maybe you're genuine. You're sincere about this shit. Maybe her mom, your girlfriend's mom or your wife's mom is so important because they're important to you because your wife or your girlfriend's that important to you. That she means so much to you that her family members, the ones that she cares about, means as much to you as it does to her. I don't see any problem with that. Embrace your inner fucking beta male and be confident about that. Lastly, he sincerely wants to spend time with you. How many times? How many times have we heard people get divorces or break up because they just didn't give a shit. They didn't care whether or not um, you went on your girl's night out. Didn't give a fuck. I could watch my sports. I could go fucking play video games. I don't know. I could go hang with my boy. I could go to the local bar and drink and 
probably find other whores out there at the bars or something. Who gives a fuck? This is alpha male mentality. Unfortunately, most of the time, they can't turn that off. But us beta males, we can turn it on. And we can turn it right back off. And we're right to square one, which is us. You know what I'm saying? So that is it. We've looked at why. I don't know if this guy is a beta male or an alpha, alpha male, to be honest with you. Maybe he's a cuckold. <laughs> I don't know. But um, see, the thing is, this is like saying 12 signs you're dating a beta male, which is probably a bad thing, I guess. Oh, they say it's a good thing. Okay, now I agree with them. Okay, I shit it. I shat on this entire article, yet they were actually saying beta males are cool. So thank you. I guess uh, I have to apologize to whoever wrote this. So I'm assuming this is a beta male. It looked like a beta male uh, in the beginning. So um, I, I guess my intuition was correct. You are a beta male, sir. And look it, not too shabby. You got a, got a hot chick right there. That's sexy. All right. Hope you guys enjoy that. Learn something. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. But hey, I'm a beta male. And I'm fucking proud of it. All we have to do is embrace that inner beta male that we are. And once we do that, you'll see the confidence. The confidence will come naturally. That's the whole thing. You gotta be yourself. You can't be pressured by society. Because they told you growing up, oh, you gotta be a man. Who says an alpha male is always the man? Why can't beta males be the men? The man, you know? So, bye for now. Ack, ack. Don't let the bunnies out. Keys, woman, keys. Johnny Fratto. God damn it, Johnny Fratto. You know what to do, motherfucker. You know what to do with all these alpha males that are such pricks. With peace and love. God damn it, peace and love. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe right here on YouTube. If you want to sponsor me monthly, go to patreon.com backslash Jimmernam. One-time donations go straight up to that candy ass at jimmernam.com. 24-7, baby. One-time donations. One. Now, if you're a beta male, give this fucking video a big thumbs up and a share for this video. It's going in the refrigerator. Doors close, lights out. The eggs are cool. The butter's getting hot. And the jello is jiggling, baby.